Hi, welcome back to Travel Tuesday with Teresa. I'm Teresa Belcher, your host, and I'm also the founder of Honeymoon Islands. And today we're going to showcase Viceroy Hotels and Resorts in Vacation Spots. And my co-host today is Cheryl Bennett, who's the co-founder of Bennett Mercado. Hi, Teresa. It's great being here today. Thank you for allowing uh, me to share about Viceroy Resorts. Awesome. Well, welcome to the show. I you are a B to a B. You work directly with travel advisors. You educate us on all of the products. So we are knowledgeable to the consumer when someone wants to go somewhere. So we're going to take this knowledge to the consumer today and we're going to educate them. So it's over to you. Great. So let me share my screen. Okay. And today we are going to spend some time in Snowmass, Mexico, the Caribbean, and then um, end in Portugal. So Viceroy Hotels and Resorts is a global company based here in the U.S., and they actually have one resort based in the United States, and it's Viceroy Snowmass. Many of you know Snowmass for its skiing, um, but there are also some great summer activities that you can do in the mountains. Viceroy Snowmass is based in Snowmass, so you would fly into Aspen, Colorado, and we provide complimentary uh, transportation from the Aspen Airport to the hotel when you book through um, your favorite travel advisor, such as Teresa. It is ski in, ski out, and we're right at the base village. You know, this time of year, we have a lot of snow. It's all about um, all of the winter activities, but there are also a lot of great summer activities out in the Snowmass um, Aspen area. In the summer, every single weekend, there's something to do, whether it's um, the taste of Aspen, an art festival, some kind of outdoor movies, the rodeo. They have zip lining, they have a frisbee golf, rock climbing wall, um, nightly entertainment, great hiking. The mountain and the gondola are open for your clients to go up to the top, whether they want to mountain bike down or hike back. And then of course, in the winter, you know of all the summer, all of the winter activities that are there from skiing to snowboarding, snowmobiling, cross country skiing, um, snowshoeing. For those of you that are not maybe ski experts, you have four mountains between Aspen and Snowmass. Snowmass is to your right, and it is the most diverse mountain where you can have beginner, intermediate, and expert. Aspen Mountain is mainly for um, experts, and then Aspen Highlands or Buttermilk are for um, intermediate to expert skiers. And your lift ticket will work on all three mountains. So what's new at Viceroy Snowmass? Everything is new. The hotel just recently underwent a total room renovation of all the public space. That would be the front desk, the restaurants. They have a great restaurant for Opry Ski out by the pool area. As I said, it's ski in, ski out. And you can see that chairlift when you're swimming in the pool, whether it's in the summer or in the winter. You can do all of your rentals, lift tickets, all right at the hotel. And one of the great features about Snowmass is it's a family resort. So they have a great ski program for children as young as three years old, all the way up to adults learning how to ski, whether you want to do private lessons, group lessons, everything is housed right at the property. And then we have their famous um, spa, which was ranked number one by Condé Nast and Travel and Leisure um, for the mountains. And the hotel is also expanding. It's building a second tower um, adjacent to the first tower where we're going to be having additional guest rooms, one bedroom suites, two bedroom suites, or we call them residences because they have kitchenettes, washer and dryers, and depending on the size of the guest room dictates how many bathrooms. So if you're booking yourself in a one bedroom, you'd have one and a half baths. Two bedroom would be two and a half baths all the way up to a four bedroom. My personal favorite is a one bedroom with a den because it's great for families where their children might be teens and don't wanna to sleep together on the same sofa bed or a, um, a couple may wanna have some private living space because you have a den off of the living room. 
and that is the Viceroy Snowmass. Um, you can see it circled here in the summertime, so you can see how green and lush it is, and then this is the new tower that I discussed. Again, it's ski and ski out. It's right next to the main tower, and it's connected underneath as well as outside. It'll have its own um, swimming pool and its own amenities in addition to its own residences. Again, one, two, three, up to four bedroom residences. And these are just some additional images, very clean cut, um, clean lines, um, neutral color guest rooms. So that is the Viceroy Snowmass. Now we're going to get in an airplane and we're going to fly to St. Lucia, everyone's favorite hotel, Sugar Beach, a Viceroy Resort. It's in the southern part of St. Lucia. It is the only hotel in St. Lucia that has white sand or sugar sand, hence the name Sugar Beach, as well as the only hotel that has four walls with air conditioning for the guest rooms. The hotel is situated between two pitons and our guest rooms start from the beach and cascade up the side of the mountain, depending on what room category you are booking. We also have residences, bungalows, and soon to open a nine bedroom villa, which I'll speak about. Viceroy style, this hotel just underwent a uh, renovation with their outdoor space. They have hands-on cooking lessons for your clients. Um, they can do chocolate tasting, sushi bar, children's program, the market where you can grab and go. You can grab a lunch here and then go out and hike the Pitons. It's about a 45-minute hike from the property. We're situated right on the beach, but of course we have our own swimming pool. And you can see in the distance, they are the um, the one and two bedroom cottages that are nestled in the side of the mountain. You do not need to walk down. We have a little tuk-tuk that'll take you down the mountain and up the mountain if, you're, if you did not want to walk. Fitness center, which is brand new. It's been relocated um, to the center of the hotel, or, or as we like to call it, to the heart of the hotel, right in the middle. There's gorgeous artwork throughout the property. And then my personal favorite is the Rainforest Spa. The reason why it's my favorite is the treatment rooms are built at the, the top of the tree lines in tree houses. And each individual tree house is its own treatment room. The owners of this hotel have a wide variety of, they're art enthusiasts, and they have a wide variety of different art sculptures and pieces hung in the property, as well as um, showcased throughout the resort. Something that's really fun and unique, right at the property, you can go snorkeling. But in addition to day snorkeling, you can also go night snorkeling, where you're going to put on a... a a light, like a miner's light on your forehead, and you're going to see totally different creatures at nighttime than what you would see um, during the day. Children's program, zip lining, you can go to the famous St. Lucia mud baths, the, um, the waterfalls. Here's uh, some images of the teen program, the children's program. They do run different programming um, throughout a given week for the smaller children. The teen room is really where they can go and hang out. They also do uh, some really unique things for teens and children during peak times, whether you're going, as we would call it, festive week or over Christmas, spring break, President's Week, um, different kinds of programming that's interactive for families. Guest rooms, very Caribbean, very colonial in style, white, bright, big ceiling fans, open air if you have all your plantation doors open. But as I first um, started saying is we are one, the only hotel in the Caribbean, in St. Lucia, that has air condition in the guest rooms. Um, this are the residences, which are fairly new. They go up to four bedrooms. And at the end of December, we will have a nine bedroom freestanding house for you to rent. It's great for multi-generational families, 
special birthdays. Um, here are some unique, uh, but as I like to call them, bucket list must-dos at the property, whether you're kayaking, snorkeling, hiking the pitons. Um, it's all about being in the water. You can take um, boats right from the property to go to the northern part of the island, which is more of a desert-like feel from the south. Um, it's great to go and do an excursion there from the day. And of course, um, Teresa and your favorite travel advisor can help you book all of those great excursions at Sugar Beach Advisory Resort in St. Lucia. So a lot of information. We are now moving to Riviera Maya. You ask, where is Riviera Maya? Riviera Maya is about 45 minutes south of the Cancun airport along the coast of the Caribbean Sea and you can see Cozumel directly in front of you. So it's also the start of the famous um, reef for snorkeling and diving that runs from Mexico down through Central America. This hotel is one of the first hotels in the Riviera Maya area. It's the only hotel that Viceroy has that's adults only. It's about reconnecting with the person that you're with, whether it's your favorite someone or women or men just going to escape and get away. Everyone's greeted with a welcome cocktail. The shaman will do a blessing. We have um, mezcal tastings. And then my personal favorite at this hotel is the soap concierge. Upon arrival, you will be presented with different soap scents and they will cut you a bar of soap that you will use for your stay. Of course, you can pick more than one and it does get refreshed um, daily if you like. This hotel is perpendicular to the beach. So I know this is not a pretty shot, but it'll kind of show you the brown uh, buildings are your jungle rooms, which will give you the most um, exclusivity, privacy, and then as you get closer to the Atlantic, uh, the Caribbean Sea, that's where your privacy gives up, but then you become an ocean view. They're freestanding villas. We have one that is a two bedroom and all the rest are king bedded rooms. Again, it's adults only, outdoor showers, outdoor plunge pools. With this private terrace, if you're in a jungle view, you really do not see or hear anyone around you. And again, as you get closer, if as you want a better view, you're gonna give up some of the privacy um, so you can see the gorgeous Caribbean Sea right in front of you. The hotel's only 40, uh, about 45 uh, freestanding villas. So what does that mean? It's small, it's intimate. We have two restaurants. A lot of guests will go into Playa del Carmen, which is about 15 minutes from the property or maybe go up to Mayacoba for dinner, which is about 15 minutes in the other direction, or they can dine at the hotel. And we do offer a meal plan, which means that you can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner um, included in your room rate, and your travel advisor will be able to assist you with that. As you can see from this photo, we have this great pier here. It's nice to have a private dining experience on the end in the evening, um, with the stars above you. But during the day, if you're doing an excursion, going to some of the caves that are, are, are nearby, the boat can pick you up from there and take you to one of the cenotes. Being in um, the Riviera Maya area, cenotes are a really fun excursion and experience. And we're lucky enough at Viceroy Riviera Maya to have a private cenote experience near the hotel. It only is for our guests only, up to four guests at a time. And you're really going to, you'll spend time with the owner of this cenote. You can have lunch there and swim in these underwater caves. And that is what a cenote is. And it's also what the Riviera Maya and Tulum area are known for in Mexico. We have a Temescal. If you're unfamiliar with a Temescal, imagine a clay um, room, freestanding structure that's hotter than a sauna. Um, it's Me Mexico's version of a hot sauna, which is a very unique experience to go in and cleanse all the toxins out of you. We have a small intimate spa and wellness center at the property. 
And now we're going to shift from Riviera Maya, which is on the Caribbean side of Mexico, and we're going to go to Los Cabos, which is on the Pacific side. And you have Viceroy Los Cabos, which is the antithesis of Riviera, Viceroy Riviera Maya. This hotel is a little shy of 200 rooms, and it's great for families and couples alike. It's located right on the beach, and it has the famous water shot of the nest. And it, this hotel at one time was the most Instagrammable hotel in the world. It's all about its water features. And this bird's nest sits right in the middle of the resort. And it happens to be a sushi restaurant. Um, and then the water cascades down to two swimming pools right to the Pacific Ocean on the beach. Um, where is Los Cabos, it is on the Pacific, and our hotel is 20 minutes from San Jose del Cabo Airport, and we are the closest five-star resort to the airport, as well as to San Jose del Cabo. Now, Cabo is interesting. It is desert terrain, and it's broken into two areas. You have Cabo San Lucas, which is very similar to Cancun. And then you have San Jose del Cabo, which is an old artist colony, a lot of farming, farm to table restaurants. Um, the topography is dry, um, hills. And um, we are in walking distance to San Jose del Cabo. And that is my favorite thing about this hotel is the location because you can take bikes or if you want to walk a mile, you can walk right into town as I did with my children. Um, and there's things to do right out the front door of the hotel versus being isolated and having to take taxis or Ubers everywhere. Every Thursday night, there is a great um, art gallery in San Jose del Cabo. At the property, we have Generation V, which is our version of the kids club, the spa, the fitness center. This is a funky aerial shot of the property. So you have the main level, which are these five towers where most of your, all the guest rooms or ocean view or ocean front rooms are. And you can see the nest there in the middle that I showed earlier. Then the next tier is, um, so the main tier you have, um, Water features, one swimming pool. The mid-level and the spa is also where the children's program is, an additional pool, and our casitas. And then beachfront, you have four and five bedroom villas, as well as another pool area, and then our beach. And if you can see the beach, the beach is private right in front of the hotel. And then once you kind of go past where those um, the seagrass is, it's a public beach. The beach is great for walking. Uh, you can go horseback riding. You can go running in the morning, in the afternoon. Um, the guest rooms range from king bedded rooms to double queen queen bedrooms all the way up to five bedroom villas and everything in between. They all have some sort of terrace. Some have plunge pools. Um, some of the bathrooms are bigger than the actual guest room. This hotel's great for families and for couples alike. Um, I know that these villas are not ideal to kind of see on a webinar, but Teresa or someone from her team will be able to kind of walk you through what the best room category is for you and your family. It's great for multi-generational families, as well as couples. Um, the hotel um, has quite a, a robust nightlife scene with, di um, with different restaurants, a rooftop bar. And in the evening, those five big buildings, um, hotel guests can control the lighting. So you can turn on your patio light and it could be blue or you want to change it to green. So as a guest, if you're dining in the nest, looking back at the hotel, it looks like a beautiful um, art wall. And it's all controlled by the hotel guests that might have their lights on in their um, on their balcony. Some additional shots of the property. Um, we always get the question, is it a swimmable beach? Any beach in Cabo that's swimmable is a man-made beach. This is not a man-made beach. 
It is, as I said, horseback riding, running, walking. You can go into the water, maybe up to your knees. Um, the Pacific Ocean in Cabo does drop off pretty, um, there's a big drop off uh, fairly close to shore, hence why swimming is um, frowned upon. But the cool thing about that is you can be sitting at the pool or on the beach and you will see dolphins swimming by so close to shore, you could almost touch them because of this, um, the drop off by the ocean. Is it just, and then of course, all viceroys are pet friendly and we um, encourage all of our clients to bring their four-legged children. Um, and it's just by the laws of whatever country and where they're coming from with the dogs. And then last but not least, Viceroy is expanding. Um, debuting this fall is Viceroy in Umbria. You might ask, where is Umbria? Umbria is in Portugal, in the Algarve area, which would be kind of south of Lisbon. You can drive from Lisbon about two and a half, three hours south, or you, or you can fly into the local airport. Umbria and the Algarve area in Portugal is known for um, its wine, its beaches. This property is only going to be 60 guest rooms, so 60 rooms and suites, but also six, 65 residences. So almost like if you were staying in an apartment that was your own in Portugal, but it's at the hotel. And we're building a whole village surrounded by golf courses, shops, restaurants. It's not on the beach. Uh, we will have access to a beach club. This would be if you wanted to go to the Algarve and go exploring different regions in the Algarve, kind of like what you would do in Tuscany to give you a, um, a reference point. The hotel is slated to open in September. And that concludes my presentation. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And great. Not... You did a great job, Cheryl. It's beautiful. Great. So Teresa, did I miss anything that you wanted me to share with your um well, you know, Viceroy has a lot of city properties, and maybe we'll right. circle back and do another presentation on the cities. I kind of wanted to focus on vacation spots yep. that Viceroy has. And I know you and your co-founder used to work at Viceroy many years ago, right? We did. So we, um, we've been, my business partner and I, her name's Beatrice Mercado. Um, we solely work with travel advisors and we are the liaison between the hotel and the advisor. So when Teresa goes to you or someone from her team says, Oh, I, I'm going to VIP you or don't worry. I know somebody at the hotel. We're going to get you an additional breakfast, the hundred dollar credit. It's residing from myself, my team and my company. But we did start working at Viceroy um, in 2009, and we've been with them ever since, which is really exciting because the company has grown. It continues to grow. We do have some great urban um, hotels in U.S. cities that are great for leisure travelers. Um, but all of these resorts, just so you know, work very closely with Honeymoon Islands, where you do get preferential treatment and different um, amenities on your behalf because you are booking through Teresa and her team. Yeah, and you can see behind me, Las Cabas. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful contemporary type of property. And um, I wanna circle back to Snowmass. Um, yeah. The activities, that, when is the best time to go? Cause you had mentioned there's summertime and there's winter vacation. So it just depends on whether you want an outdoor summer activity or do you want skiing in the winter time yeah so you know there's a saying when you live out west that the winters bring you but the summers keep you and um so viceroy snowmass is a seasonal hotel it's open in the winter months and in the summer months so it is so a calendar year so let's do a ski season it reopens um in november and goes through to may 
depending on the snowfall and the elk migration, which we don't control, that's controlled by the um, the federal government because it's a national park and it's uh, there's certain regulations with that, will dictate when the mountain closes for skiing. Um, so that would be your all of your winter um, resorts. And then there's a season called mud season, which most hotels do close. That's when all the snow is melting. It's melting in the Colorado River to feed into Los Angeles. So they have nice, you know, drinking water. And then the hotels reopen from Memorial Day through really till the end of September. And Colorado summers are very warm days and very cool evenings. In July and August, you know, I, you know, Teresa, we live in the Northeast, you know, July and August, it's hot and humid, right? You need to be in air conditioning all the time. It's not like that in Colorado. In the days you might want to be in the air conditioning, but at nighttime, you might need a winter blanket because it does um, cool down quite a bit. So you have, you know, hiking, biking, golfing. Um, I mean, there's just an endless supply of outdoor activities that you can do in the mountains. Um, the great thing about the Aspen Snowmass area is every weekend in the summer, there's some kind of festival going on that um, your clients can enjoy. Wow. Awesome. Um, so you did a wonderful job, educated us Thank all. You. I have a lot of clients who uh, go to Viceroy Sugar Beach in St. Lucia. That's just, St. Lucia is like the Tahiti in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So anyway, if anyone is interested in signing up or inquiring about reservations for your next vacation, please reach out to me. I will leave my contact information below this video. And also at the end, you can um, look at my website. I will leave my website com um, contact information at the end of this video. And until next time, if you can dream it, we will create it.